do you realize that you, you know, really made it when you become uh, an Eminem lyric? Yeah, yeah. Either either you really made it, or now you've got beef with somebody that you know you look up to, and you know you're like, what the what what happened here? I was like, and and at first I was kind of freaked out, and then you know, of course, nowadays I, I think it's amazing because that song is one of my favorite songs, and then to have my name in it too, it's just like I did something right or wrong. When when did you first find out about that? Uh, we were in Miami. I think we were doing a show in Miami. We were on the bus coming back up to Orlando, and we were on the bus. And I started getting all these uh, on my. I think I think I even had a. No, it wasn't a pager. I think I was getting text messages, and everybody was like, "Yo, have you heard the new Eminem song? He makes fun of you in it." And I'm like, "Yeah, well, he always does. In sync rhymes with everything, you know." And they're <laughs> like, "No, you." I'm like, what do you mean me? They're like Chris Kirkpatrick. I'm like, he says Chris Kirkpatrick in a song. What the hell rhymes with Chris Kirkpatrick? And then I heard get your ass kicked. And I'm like, oh yeah, I guess that does rhyme. Did you ever talk to Eminem after that? Not really. Yeah, I guess you guys would cross paths a lot. You'd be at the same award yeah, we shows. Did. Yeah, we did. I never got a chance to. I mean, to me, it's, you know, it's kind of the ultimate flattery because like I said, I'm, I worship like Eminem is, you know, one of my favorite artists and I've, I've always been a big fan and, and he, it was just, you know, to be in the song, you know, whether or not he wants to kick my ass, that's fine. But to be in the song was just like, like if he, if he really hates me, then he did the absolute opposite of what he should have done to, <laughs> you know, to get me, get me back. Were you like, why me? There's five of us in this group. Like, why? Why well, did you I think, I you? think I had to I had to like retrace my steps and figure out why he picked me out. And I think um, the only thing I can remember is that uh, Joey and I were hosting TRL and I knew TRL. Well, that's when TRL was in its heyday. And, and uh, I think we were talking about him and I, and I said something about um, how uh, he was like the crocodile hunter, like he liked the controversy, he liked to get in you know, with the crocodiles and that's why people listen to him, you know, whereas, you know, in my mind, I was thinking, and he's got great music, but you know, he probably took it as I was just saying that the only reason he's popular is because he's controversial. Yeah. When you guys were at your absolute peak of your fame, who were some of the people that you, or I, let's, let's put it this way. Who was someone that you got to meet that you were like, I can't believe we are meeting so-and-so. Oh my God. There's that list that that list is too long to go on. I mean, we were so blessed to meet, you know, some of the most amazing, you know, and, and it, to me, it was mostly musicians, you know, anybody and, and everybody. And, and, you know, there were a lot of athletes too, that we got to meet and and all this stuff but you know i think it was the musicians to me that really you know i mean stevie wonder playing harmonica on one of our tracks uh paul mccartney doing a song with phil collins gloria stefan you know there's so many just so many people that you know i looked up to you know i got to meet uh when i was talking earlier about the indigo girls i got to meet them and you know they were such a big influence on on me writing harmonies as well and you know there was, it was just the, Lenny Kravitz it was it was anybody in the business it was it was awesome I mean I, I, I couldn't Michael Jackson you know getting wow. to be on stage with Michael was amazing and and you know Kenny Rogers and and just all the all the people like you know reaching out and touching them or, or shaking their hand or giving them a hug and saying this is actually a real person. Like that's how big they were in my mind that, you know, they, they were a God and here they are like, wow, 